Hey everyone, Tony here. I have the owner of the Cluck You restaurant, Francis San Juan. Francis, thank you so much for joining me today. Hi, Tony. Um, it's great to be here. Thank you for having me today. Yeah, absolutely. You know, what I love about your, your, your business is I love the wings, of course. I get wings there all the time. And that's where I going into Cluck You, I came across that you guys accept cryptocurrencies. You currently have a kiosk where you sell cryptocurrencies. So can you give, me, uh, give us an overview of the business and how long it's been there in Hoboken, New Jersey? Sure. Uh, the business of Cluck You uh, Chicken in Hoboken has been there about approximately 10 years. However, I bought the business uh, about three years ago, and since then, uh, we've been, you know, slowly expanding again because, uh, you know, we're int reintroducing ourselves. And at the same time now, with the emergence of um, cryptocurrencies, uh, in the last three months, I, I did a little research on it and w went into trying to accept cryptocurrencies as, as a form of payment. And also, I bought a, well, not bought, but rented a kiosk where cryptocurrencies are being sold from and uh, the name of that company is pay depot got it got it so that's very interesting and i think you're one of the early adopters for sure because we are seeing a slow adoption of crypto even uh we see starbucks is partnering with the parent company in new york stock exchange with microsoft to launch an exchange so some things are the ball is rolling there's some momentum but I, I, it's great to see, you know, once again, you're not like a corporate giant or something, but um, medium to small size business and, and you're accepting crypto. So how long have you been accepting crypto as a payment for, for uh, products and things like that? For um, accepting crypto, it's been approximately about three months. Uh, we started uh, like uh, towards the end of, I guess, you know, uh, towards the beginning of summer, that is. Uh, so... I don't know if the timing was wrong. Was is it's because I think uh, when we did that, we were, I was again I was looking at the technology how Hoboken is you know a techn technology savvy community. Uh, Stevens Institute is nearby, right? And they are also customers of Cluck You, and or, and the thing the the idea came about was because I was thinking I think the students will be more open to uh, transacting in cryptocurrencies. So I, look, you know, I did a little research and I looked into it and I decided that I would accept Bitcoin, Litecoin and Ethereum because those were the top three, I guess you would say, top three coins uh, in the uh, cryptocurrency. So we started with that and we, we've actually, uh, you know, it's been slowly increasing in volume. I wouldn't say it was a, it's a big volume, but slowly increasing because uh, uh, these people from Stevens are coming back from summer break so i believe a lot of our customers are from the stevens uh um institution got it got it very very interesting and i know you know the crypto market's been in a bear mode where it's you know the, the a bit of the energy behind it the news has slowed down ju during the summer months but i think um you know the fact that you have the infrastructure set up to do so um as the market starts to rally and there's more there's more of a b bigger bull run and it is more mainstream adoption you'll probably see an increase in in usage because more people will have it um like you said it it seems like the demographic the younger folks and millennials are, are the ones who are investing in a lot and hold a lot of it correct correct yeah. uh i can like i said I, it is the younger crowd that are that is buying in in our store and like I said, the I, the I believe it's just because of the fact that our vicinity to New York City, plus the fact that um, you know technology is really is really uh, heavily used in in Hoboken in regards to you know form of marketing yep. or form of uh, you know a, an app or whatever. And it's just like that's how I guess where our exposure is is happening now. Where I think it's more open now to using cryptocurrencies. Um, uh, don't get me wrong. I mean, we do have a you know a, a mixed crowd, but uh, a majority of them is younger students. And um, also, when I when I'm you know in the store, I do notice at you know on the Pay Depot kiosk, I do notice it, it is a younger crowd that is buying uh, uh, you know cryptocurrency. Uh, and you know I, I do I, I do approach them and ask you know do a little small talk, try try to pick their brain what they're thinking. And, you know, that's how I'm beginning to learn more and more of the of the market. Uh, just to let you know, at the kiosk, they do sell uh, Bitcoin, Bitcoin Cash, Ethereum and Dash. 
Interesting. So those are the currencies that are being done there uh, in the store. Got it. Got it. So, yeah. you, so you've seen, um, as well as people paying with crypto, you're seeing people buying from your the, that kiosk in your store. Yeah, exactly. I mean, I like I said, it's it's just like it's it was uh, at first it was dead. I mean, there was yeah. no one there. <laughs> right. And, uh, you know, you you slowly see your customers come in and, and they're actually they're not in line to buy the chicken. They're in line to buy <laughs> currencies. So uh, that's I mean, so funny. It's, yeah, it's it's fine with me, but I mean, it's just like it's, it's a way of saying, oh it's getting more accepted, you know, like people are either, you know, yeah, holding and go eventually going to be using it as a form of transaction. So uh, I'm excited. It's, 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 it's a great thing to see. Yeah, for sure. It's an emerging market. I think it's, it's only set to grow, gr you know, be greater and more mainstream adoption. So yeah, I think, I, uh, yeah, exactly. I, I mean, I think the more people, more people like you exposing, uh, you know, the you know informing people of cryptocurrency i think it'll be better for everyone to you know accept it so for uh, sure i props to you <laughs> thank you uh so i did have a question if i walk into the store and i say hey i want 20 hot wings or buffalo wings right and i say okay i want to pay with bitcoin what's the process to, to do that well the thing is uh that what would happen is that we would transfer you know of course it would it would be paid in bitcoin but we would uh how you say that it was like a uh, exchange it into U.S. dollars. So whatever the exchange rate for the Bitcoin and the U.S. dollars, that's how it would be, uh, you know, taken into the uh, into the store. Got it. And I I would just take your take your wallet address and just send it send the Bitcoin to it. Yes, correct. Got it. Got it. And um, I'm curious with the Pay Depot uh, kiosk uh, is. Was it like a, a very intensive process to get that set up and to, you know, get it all together? I'm just curious what the process is like. Oh, no, no. It was uh, more like a, it was more like an interview. Uh, they wanted to uh, the representatives of Pay Depot came into the store. They wanted to see the type of um, the neighborhood plus the type of customers uh, and see if it would be, you know, uh, it would fit their model. It would fit the uh, Pay, uh, Pay Depot kiosk. And they did because when they came in, they said, yeah, it's a young crowd. Hoboken's young. They're tech savvy. Uh, and also they uh, they saw that there is a lot of people walking in. So they that, that was a plus for them. And um, they do have, uh, I, I believe, a, a couple of uh, kiosks in the Jersey City area. I can't say for sure where they are, but in the Jersey City area. And I believe we might have been the first one in Hoboken. I can't. I can't say for sure, but I think we are. Yeah, I haven't seen, you know, having lived here for the past years, I haven't seen any other establishments. I think you're the only one I've seen. And I'm, you know, I'm on, on the lookout, my eyes and ears, right? Looking for things like that, but I haven't seen anyone else. I think you, you guys are, I think for sure, the ones in Hoboken. Yes. Yeah. So, they, uh, we're, like I said, we were honored and excited that we got accepted for that. And like I said, it's it's been slow. The, the, the lines for the crypto kiosk has been slowly increasing. As you can see, the people coming in, awesome. and I, I think that has to be because of the fact I think school's coming back, and you know the, I believe a lot of them are students. Yeah, yeah, for sure. And if you don't mind me asking, it's okay if you can't disclose this. I'm not actually asking for actual numbers, but is it a profitable uh, thing to have in your business? Um, I'm gonna say I, it's still a work in progress. Okay. Um, the the volume of cryptos uh, that we are receiving as a form of payment, it's not really significant. It's almost it's like I said, we're like in a pilot program right now. Yes. I'm hoping it would be, you know, increased for you know later on in regards to quantity, volume wise. But as of right now, it's 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 still in its uh, I guess uh, work in progress stage. I mean, it it it, it, it I'm a, I'm a t anticipating to be better maybe later on in the year because like I said. The uh, students are coming back, so maybe our volume will be higher in cryptocurrency. But in the meantime, uh, during the summer months, it was a little slow yeah. because, again, everybody was on vacation and the students were not here. So uh, we'll see. I, I mean, I can give you an update in three months and we'll see where we are from there. Yeah, for sure. I would love to interview, especially, you know, everyone's expecting some sort of level of, bull, of a bull run coming this fall with Bitcoin ETFs and the launch of BACT and all of those things. Um, so I would love to interview later on because 
as the hype starts again and everybody's grandma and uncle and everybody's like, what's Bitcoin? I want to buy Bitcoin, right? Yes. Um, if that starts happening again, I want to talk to you because I want to see, is it having a direct impact? And, like, and, and obviously the younger crowd, I don't think they really focus on it. They're just interested in the technology, holding something different than dollar bills. Um, yes. So uh, yeah, for sure. I think we can certainly do a follow-up. Um, I would love to do that. Um, so my next question is, any, uh, you know, Ripple XRPs in number three crypto in the market list, right? We got Bitcoin, Ethereum, Ripple. Any chance or thoughts about accepting that as a payment or also selling it on the on the kiosk? Um, I believe the kiosk may be in, in the process of um, accepting Ripple because I believe I saw uh, a beta on it. But again, I, I, I did see it at one, at one time then it wasn't there the next day. So I, I, I think there, there might be potential, it might be on there soon, because like I said, I saw, I, I believe I saw a beta on it. In regards to the store, uh, I'm open to it, but again, I, like, I don't want to rush into it at this moment in time, because again, I went into Bitcoin, Ethereum, Litecoin. <laughs> I'm, still, I'm still gaining my legs on that, on those sure. things. And you know, just to add another one would be, I don't know, I, I think it would be just a little too much for me as a person, you know, uh, to handle, but I, I, but I am open to it because, uh, again, I've, I've been reading a lot about it in the news. On, uh, I've been reading it online. So there are good things about Ripple. So, again, um, I, I will be open to uh, adding it to the store, but not at this moment. I just, I just really want to, again, uh, I started with those three coins, sure. and I, I want to see how, how much further I can take it, you know, and how much more I can learn from it. Sure, yeah. sure. That absolutely makes sense. So um, there's something that Overstock does. You know, Overstock.com is one of the online sites, at least, that accepts crypto. And the CEO has been on the record saying that when the crypto comes in, Bitcoin, Ethereum, whatever it is, they sell 50% of it and they hold the other 50%. I'm curious what your strategy is. Do you hold all of it? Do you sell it right away? Um, at this moment in time, Tony... Um, like I said, since the volume has not really been a lot of it, I, we're just holding it at this time in a wallet. Sure. Uh, you know, in the store, we, because of the fact that again, it's it's not really a significant amount. It's basically again, we're in a stage where we're it's, we're still a work in progress. Right. I mean, the volume isn't really there, but we're anticipating maybe in the near future that it will be, and then that's when we'll figure out what we're going to do uh, in regards to. Um, holding it uh, or, 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 or shifting it to another currency or whatever. So, Got it. Got it. Awesome. Well, I think that covers a, you know the majority of my questions. And like I said, kudos to you, you guys, for early adopters. And I think uh, having that established in, in, with, around the younger crowd and the college crowd that's here in Hoboken, I think yes. will pay off as the market starts to be, you know, it starts getting pumped again and, and we, more mainstream adoption and so forth. Um, and I'll, everyone, I will put a link in the description to the Cluck U location in Hoboken as well as the address. So if you're interested in visiting Cluck U, great restaurant, great wings. I love it. So uh, I recommend you guys check that out if you're in New York uh, or even the Tri-State area. You know, if you're going to be in New Jersey or New York, whatever, come by and check check them out. Um, Francis, thank you so much for doing this. I really appreciate it. Thank you very much.